Our goal should not be on that. Success is not there. Success is only in the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following the blessed ways of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Any other ism, any other ideology, any other philosophy. Now there's a lot of trends and fashions. I'm an emu and I'm this and I'm that. And people have their own types of clothing and types of haircuts and this and that. It's all a lie. It's all false. Success is not in any ideology, in any ism. It's fashionable now to follow some kind of ideology and to be different. But success is not in any of those things. Success is only and only in one thing. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. All the prophets came and gave the same message. Success in the commandments of Allah and following the prophet of the time. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the last and final prophet came and gave the same message. That success is only in following the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And following the blessed ways of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And anyone who is looking for success elsewhere. In the nice car, in the nice job, in the good house, in the money, in the wealth, in his status. His example is like the man who was on all fours, crawling around outside his house. Somebody was walking past. This was after Isha Salat, 8 o'clock at night. Somebody walking past, Assalamu alaikum, brother, kya hua? what's happened? He said, I've lost my key. He said, oh, chalo. Neki ka kam hai, you know, I'll earn some reward. Let me help you find it. He said, oh, Jazakallah. So now two of them are crawling around looking for the key. Can't find it. After some time, second guy walking past. He said, what's happened? He said, this brother's lost his key. Come on, I'll help you. Now three of them looking for it. No luck. After some time, third person walking past. He finds out. He joins them. Four guys are crawling around in the dark looking for this key. Can't find it. So one of the intelligent ones from amongst them, he asked the guy, he said, where did you drop your key, by the way? Whereabouts was it? So we can look there. Did you drop it here? He said, no, no, no. I dropped it in my house. <laughs> he said, I dropped it in my house. He said, See, idiot. What are, what are you doing looking for it here? He said, I've not paid my electricity bill. My pay as you go has run out. And there's darkness in my house. But when I, outside my house, there's a street light. So I thought I'll find it here. So these guys are saying, you idiot. You look up at time. You wasted our time and you wasted your own time as well. You're never going to find it here. You've got to look where you lost it. In the same way, people who are looking for success, because you know, all Muslims know that success is in Islam. But why do Muslims look for success elsewhere? Following him, following her, acquiring this, acquiring that. Why? Because in our houses is Islam. Passed down to us from our forefathers. Is the Quran, is the Hadith, is the Kitabs. But we have not made an effort to discover the luminosity and the brilliance and the sweetness of Islam. Therefore, in our houses is darkness. When we stepped out into the world, then the dazzle and the brilliance, the fake dazzle of the dunya, it, it attracted us. In Urdu we say, Aake chaka chund ho gayi. It blinded us. And we thought, whoa, look at this beautiful dunya. Let's look for it here. But it's not there. We're never going to find it. Success is only in the commandments of Allah and following the blessed ways of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the quicker we understand that and the quicker we come onto the effort to acquire the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the quicker we will start acquiring success in this world and the hereafter.